My name is Chelsea Dodge and today I'm going to take you through my nighttime skincare routine. <laughs> no, but on a real note, hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chelsea. Today I'm doing my take on the Vogue Beauty Secrets videos and it's my nighttime skincare routine. I have had my sleepy time tea. I'm ready for bed. So let's get started. I just got a haircut. I have flyaways for the first time ever because I just ended dance so I could finally get layers and it's weird having to learn how to put my hair up at a certain level so that they don't come out when I'm washing my face and stuff. But yeah, the first thing, I cannot do my skincare if my teeth are not clean. So the first step for me is brushing my teeth. My next step is this Bioderma face cleanser. It is the only cleansing oil I have ever used that actually works. This is insane. I am obsessed with this. I used to double cleanse like with a regular cleanser and an oil cleanser, but it stripped my skin too much. So now I just do my oil cleanser and then I do this micellar water. Skincare has always been something that I've done. It's just always been very important to me because my mom, when I was younger, she didn't want any of my siblings and I to think that wearing makeup every day was something we had to do to look beautiful. So until we were five or six and my youngest siblings were two or three, she wouldn't, my mom didn't wear makeup because she didn't want us to think that that's what you had to do to look beautiful. So instead of teaching us to wear makeup, she would always, always do her skincare routine. And of course, being a little girl watching your mom do their skincare routine, you'd be like, I do it too. And so I used to do it with my mom and yeah. I think that's where my love for skincare came from. When I was younger, she used to say, Chelsea, if you're gonna splurge on anything, let it be skincare. Not that you have to spend all this money on skincare, but her lesson from that message was don't buy cheap skincare just because it's cheap. Buy what's gonna work. I am very grateful that my mom instilled a love of skincare in me from a very young age. Next, I don't do a face mask every night, but I'm going on a trip to Punta Cana this weekend. I want to prep my skin for the travel. I'm using this Summer Fridays Overtime Exfoliating Mask. It literally smells like pumpkin pie. It smells so good. I use quite a bit and I just rub it into my skin. I'm gonna leave this on for like 10 to 20 minutes and I'll see you guys when it's done. Mask is off, face is clean. It's time to get started. First is this Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant. A lot of people put it on a cotton pad, but I just put it right into my hand and then pat it on my face. Next is this Pharmacy Do It All Eye Cream. I heard that eye cream is just glorified moisturizer. And so I stopped using it for a while, but my under eyes got super, super dry, especially in the winter time. I have very dry skin and my under eyes got really, really, really dry, like to the point where they were peeling. So I started using eye cream again because maybe some eye creams are just glorified moisturizer, but I, I think I need it. I don't know. I have really dry skin. It probably has to do with the fact that I live up north, but... For me, eye cream is not just glorified moisturizer. There's certain like skincare rules I learned when I was younger that I still do now, like I can't break them. The first one is I wash my face with cold, cold, cold water. And then the second one is that I pat my eye cream in with my ring finger because it's like the most gentle finger. And so you're like less likely to cause wrinkles. <laughs> I don't know if either of those things are actually true, like if they're actually helpful or not, but I've done it since sixth grade and why would I stop now? <laughs> so next I'm using this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I really love this skin cream. It took me a while to buy it because of the price, because I'm so young. I appreciate good quality skincare, but I also, acknowledge the fact that I probably don't need like 
really, really expensive skincare because I have an 18 year old skin. I don't need like the anti-aging stuff, but Tatcha just feels very luxurious. And for me, skincare is self-care. So the mental results are just as important as the physical results, if that makes sense. So if it feels luxurious and it makes me feel good, I justify it. <laughs> Usually if my skin's feeling extra dry, I'll use either this Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate or this Earth Harbor Marina Oil. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it just like brightens my skin. It makes my pores go away and it moisturizes so well. And I don't understand how it does all of those things, but it does. So. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Right now my skin's not super dry, so I'm gonna skip that step today. My next step is this Laneige lip mask. I got this in a PR package from Set Active. I have not stopped using it since. I love Lindsay Carter so much, and she always has the best product recommendations. Not only does she create the best leggings, but she just knows a good product from a not good product, and this is a good product, and she knew it and put me on it, so thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> Lastly is this Tasha Dewy Skin Mist. The Dewy Skin Mist and the water cream are like so basic, but I don't care. I love them. This says on the back, I was amazed. It says on the back, two to three mists. I was doing like maybe 20. Now I've cut it back to like six to eight, but two to three is not enough. I like to glow. So, I love this baby on. Yeah, that was eight sprays and it was really good. Love this stuff. I'm never gonna stop using it. That is the end of my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out my socials. They're all Chelsea Dodge underscore. I post a lot of cool fashion, lifestyle, food, more fashion. Yeah, you don't wanna miss it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.